Testing. Testing. Very loud. Too loud. Okay. Let's see how this goes. <clears throat> hey everybody. Photog Nord here. It's been a while since I've been doing a video like this. Um, but I have a good uh, occasion today, uh, which is... Um, well, the occasion isn't that I'm going on vacation, summer vacation today, but I am anyway. Uh, so what I'm doing these days is that I'm cleaning up my shit. Shit, not shit. You can, yeah, my shit as well. But, um, but uh, yeah, and uh, I found my good old trusty Fujifilm X100 that um, I've been uh, very pleased with over the years. And, um, yeah, initially I thought about making a shelf in my room uh, with sort of a camera display of all my greatest cameras through the the years it would take place with my 5d and uh, the x100 but then i thought nah i'm just gonna sell it um, no reason in stockpiling additional cameras so um so yeah before selling it i just wanted to to pay a, a last tribute tribute or uh, homage to uh, to the camera and let you guys know about the pros and the cons uh, that I've figured out during the five, six years I've been using this camera. It isn't this exact camera I've been using. I've been uh, having quite a, a trip with, uh, with the X100 series. So um, it all started back in 2012 when my wife bought me the original X Fuji X100 as a wedding anniversary, a wedding gift. Um, yeah, and I, I had fallen completely in love with it due to the look. It was not this one, it was the X100 with the, the silvery top and the black bottom, so bottom, so the regular one. And um, yeah, it was great. And I used that for a couple of years, and then the X100S came out. Uh, the new and improved one with uh, all the, 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 the trimmings and the shinings and the autofocus improvements and all that. So, um, yeah, I actually sold my, my wedding gift, my X100, and I ran out and bought the X100S. And, um, yeah, that was a different camera. Um, and I didn't really like the feel of it. I won't go into why, but uh, there was something about the, um, the images and... Yeah, it didn't really feel like um, my old X100. So after some time, I actually sold my X100S and I went on eBay and and I found this X100 um, limited edition black f painted body. Um, yeah, and I went with that and I've been using that ever since, I don't know, perhaps 2014 something like that um, and it's been awesome so uh, before selling it I just want to hold it uh, <laughs> one last time and tell you guys about yeah the pros and the cons about the camera so um, one of the pros I guess is the fixed uh, lens which um, promotes creativity so you really got to think about um, composition and where you're placing yourself and how you're going to shoot a picture because you only have this one focal length. You only have the um, uh, roughly equivalent to 35 millimeter, which is a all-round purpose uh, focal length. Um, so um, yeah, I think uh, having that makes it, a, of course, a, a smaller, a lighter camera. Um, that you'll bring anywhere with you and and if you are creative enough it shouldn't be uh, uh, something in, uh, preventing you from getting the shot that you want unless it's like uh, safari pictures or wildlife or something like that um, so that's one thing that's the promotion of creativity um, with the all round, round focal length um, for me it has been uh, Snapshot camera, family camera, uh, okay, so um, yeah, that's the fixed lens thing, really cool. 
The leaf shutter is very uh, inconspicuous, discreet, silent. You cannot hear it, so it's perfect for uh, bringing to parties where you want these uh, candid shots by, uh, at the table. Uh, old auntie something and, and Uncle Billy Bob sitting there eating their food or having a good time and you just take the camera and you just pop a few quick ones and uh, yeah they never notice that because they can't hear it if it was to be a DSLR you were using it would say and um, and uh, they would probably all look in your direction and perhaps you wouldn't get your your candid shot that you were hoping for so the uh, the, the leaf shutter the si silent leaf shutter in this camera is is uh, really um, it has been a game changer for me um, as all my cameras other cameras have been really noisy um, so I've been able to get those good shots also of the kids when they were doing something um, and I snuck up on them and, and took a picture without them knowing has resulted in some really great pictures um, of course the leaf shutter um, also brings more advantages to stuff like uh, uh, flash photography where you are able to use a much higher shutter uh, speed uh, with your flash compared to um, regular um, I, I can't remember what you call the uh, the normal uh, shutter systems in, in DSLRs but uh, this is definitely not as restricted as um, as those and that means basically you can uh, you can do a lot of, uh, you can get a lot more power out of your flashes in outdoor uh, scenarios and um, and um, sort of kill the uh, ambient light with uh, a higher shutter speed. Um, what else we got? Image quality. Image quality is great. Um, it's 12 megapixels. It's good for your workflow in Lightroom, for instance, so the files aren't too big. But they are big enough for almost all purposes. Um, I'm happy about that. I'm happy about the in-camera processing, so you can have your ent entire workflow uh, in the camera. And just shoot the picture and then um, go in and choose the uh, film simulation modes and put that on there. And export it as a JPEG and you're ready to go. Um, it's a, it's a possibility to do that, but it's also a possibility to, to load it into Lightroom and, of course, manipulate the, the pictures and all that. But I actually quite like just making most of my uh, post-processing in the camera. It has that great look and feel. It doesn't need a lot of tampering besides that. Um, and gives you a lot of time for doing other great stuff like taking pictures um, while not having to use all that time post-processing. Back uh, button focus, um, a really big thing on this camera. Um, there's a dedicated button to, to that um, where you rest your thumb. So it's really easy to like back button focus and then just use the shutter to, um, um, the shutter button to, to take your pictures. Mm, the range finder, Hybrid viewfinder is cool. Um, I usually use it in the rangefinder mode. I find that to be quite pleasing to be able to see what I'm really shooting and not just the uh, the uh, electronic one. But I have also been using the electronic one. I think that's cool as well. Even the uh, on this, uh, I, think, I don't know, 1.3 megapixel or how much it is. Um, the price is a pro as well because, yeah, I've, I've been looking online and I've I've seen these sell very cheap, which isn't good for me because I'm selling it. I would have wanted to get a lot of money for it because it still has a lot of good years in it, and um, I've been um, yeah maintaining it and and uh, taking care of it, and yeah, so it's a good camera, and yeah. So hopefully I'll get a good price for it. Perhaps I'll get a little, like, little extra because it's a limited edition. They made 10,000 of these, I think, and um, in total. But um, yeah, let's see. Let's see about it.
Uh, so, yeah, that was basically the pros of this camera. I feel like something's missing, like it's the camera that you will always bring with you because it's light, it looks cool, it's, it sounds cool, it just doesn't sound like anything. Um, yeah, it's just a great traveling all-around street photography camera. Um, it's all black, so it, it hides the camouflage as well against a black jacket or shirt, t-shirt, whatever. Yeah. Basically, that's that's <laughs> that's the pros. Probably left something out, but um, yeah, that's all right. The cons. So I actually did another video about the um, the high ISO JPEG smearing issue that this camera has. So if you shoot um, an image in JPEG or in RAW, and you do the post processing within the camera from RAW to JPEG, then um, you lose all the details due to the uh, noise reduction, uh, a noise cancellation software in the camera. So, so basically ISO 3200 and 6400 doesn't really look that good. Better to uh, take the RAW picture into a Lightroom and then um, do your adjustments there when you're shooting high ISO. Um, Another con is that this is a niche camera somehow. Um, before getting this camera, you need to make sure that it's good for all your requirements. Um, and I've had a, a small philosophical thought about whether or not this camera is, um, is a minimalist's camera or it is a min minimalistic camera. So, so I think depending on what type of shooter you are, this is probably a minimalistic camera, meaning that it has very few features. And if you're okay with that, that's cool. And, but if you are a minimalist, and but it doesn't live up to all your requirements, then you probably see yourself getting another camera from, for some other purpose, which could be video shooting or, or um, being able to attach uh, long telephoto lenses for that safari trip coming up or whatever it can be. So, so um, it's most likely not the only camera that you're going to have and use if you're, I don't know, an amateur photographer that is also experimenting into other areas. And, and to be honest, when we buy it, perhaps we don't, or we think it's going to be the only camera, but we change as photographers, and, and we, got, we have these phases where we have interests in the various uh, uh, photographic sphere. So, so we don't know what kind of images we want to be shooting in three years, or how perhaps we will be limited by, um, by the, uh, the equipment. So not being able to attach other lenses to this camera can potentially be um, a thing making you go buy another camera. And that's not very minimalistic, is it? But um, yeah, so, so really think about it. Uh, at least it's a cool experiment to do, just uh, having this one camera for a long time and, and finding out the focal length and, and, and how it translates into pictures and, and um, see where you can go with your creativity. For me, I, I um, really uh, I had some other requirements. One being, I, I wanted the uh, flippity floppity screen, um, and I wanted the video capabilities in my camera as well. And I also wanted the capability of um, switching glass to uh, different glasses. So that would be my minimalist approach to an all-round camera that actually um, could do everything that I needed. Um, yeah, those are actually the only cons that I want to bring up with this camera because everything else is, is said by other people a million times, like uh, slow autofocusing and all of that. And yeah, that's basically still true. It's not, it's not fast like a DSLR, but gotta just gotta work out uh, these quirks. Just gotta set your uh, 
yeah, work out how you're going to focus, pre-focus, instead of in, in important uh, situations. And yeah, it's all good. It's all good. So um, yeah, I'm going to do the reverse of an uh, unboxing on this one and put it back in the box that I bought it in and uh, clean it up. And then I'm going to put it, yeah, on the second hand papers here in Denmark. See if anybody's going to pay something for it. Yeah. And, and sometimes, that's one thing, you might say, okay, you paid X amount of money for this camera and now you're selling it and it's going dirt cheap. Um, you're not getting the amount of money for it that you wanted. But, um, and then you keep it because it's not worth selling at that price. Um, but bear in mind, if you're not using the camera, it is just that amount of cash or potential cash lying on the shelf, not going into your pockets anyway. So you just got to take the hit, take the money and don't look back in these situations. Unless you have an idea, this will be a collector's item in 20 years and you want it laying around or you want to stack it on your shelf for nostalgic purposes. But if, if not, sell it, don't look back. In a few days, you will have forgotten all about it. Yeah. So that was just a small tip as well, if you have difficulty getting rid of your stuff. So, um, yeah, I need to get back into the rhythm of these videos again. Um, it's, been, uh, it's been a long time, but um, I hope uh, I can have a, a new series of Photog Nord videos uh, coming up. Not just about equipment, but um, the specific projects ongoing and uh, all that stuff but also gear. So um, yeah, if you appreciate uh, having me back, give me a thumbs up, uh, drop a comment below. Uh, that's cool. Thanks guys for watching. Um, good to see you all again. Take care.